Nearly 1.25 million people die in road crashes each year. On average, 3,287 deaths a day. An additional 20 to 50 million are injured or disabled. Distracted driving is the most common cause of road accidents around the world, resulting in more crashes every year than speeding, drunk driving and other major accidents causes. Drivers can become distracted behind the wheel for a variety of reasons. Some of the leading causes of distracted driving accidents include using a cell phone, particularly texting while driving is the most dangerous form of distracted driving, drinking water from a mug or bottle, adjusting the radio is one of the most common forms of distracted driving. At any given time, more than 600,000 drivers are manipulating electronic devices like radios while driving. Driving distractions are divided into three categories. Number one, visual, which takes your eyes off the road. Number two, cognitive, which takes your mind off the road. And number three, manual, which takes your hands off the steering wheel. Listening to the radio or adjusting the station covers all the three categories of distractions. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration estimates that drowsy driving was responsible for 72,000 crashes, 44,000 injuries and 800 deaths in 2013 is reported in United States of America. However, these numbers are underestimated and up to 6,000 fatal crashes each year may be caused by drowsy drivers. In today's episode, you will learn how to reduce distracted driving accidents using only Arduino, MPU6050 and a buzzer. If a driver writes a message and looks down for more than two seconds, the buzzer is activated. So if the driver looks down or looks up for more than two seconds, a buzzer is activated which alerts the driver. This project can also be used as the driver drowsiness detection system. This is just a prototype model which can be further improved by designing a PCB. If you don't know about the MPU6050 module, then watch my tutorial which explains the extreme basics. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. The circuit diagram is very simple as you can see. VCC is connected with 3.3 volts. Ground is connected with the ground, SCL and SDA are connected with the Arduinos, analog pins A5 and A4, while the INT pin of the MPU6050 module is connected with pin number 2 of the Arduino. The MPU6050 Eagle library can be downloaded from our website, check the link in the description. The 5 volt buzzer positive leg is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. The ground leg of the buzzer is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor while the emitter is connected with the ground. The base of the 2N2222 NPN transistor is connected with the Arduino pin number 13 through a 10K resistor. So that's all about the circuit diagram. The MPU6050 module soldering is already explained in my previous tutorial. As you can see, the MPU6050 module is sandwiched between the two Vero boards. This arrangement really helped me to easily calibrate the MPU6050 module. 
The MPU6050 interfacing with the Arduino is exactly the same as explained in the circuit diagram and in my previous tutorial on the MPU6050 module. This time I added only a 5 volt buzzer, a 2N2222 NPN transistor and a 10K resistor. As you can see the positive leg of the buzzer is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. The emitter is connected with the ground while the base is connected with the Arduino's pin number 13. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure that you download these libraries. These libraries are available on my website. You can find link in the description. The MPU6050 GY-521 module can be powered up using 3.3 to 5 volts. The INT pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 2. The SCL pin is connected with the airlock pin A5 while the SDA pin is connected with the airlock pin A4 of the Arduino. This is the same program which I used in my previous tutorial. This time I made a few changes. I defined a pin for the buzzer. As you can see the buzzer is connected with pin number 13 of the Arduino. To keep track of the time I defined some variables. For the seconds counting I defined a variable of the type integer. The value is updated every one second. This number can be adjusted as per your requirement. For this project, one second works just perfect. The white setup function consists of the same functions. This time I added only this line which sets the buzzer as the output device. Then start the wide loop function. These instructions are used for counting the seconds. These conditions are used to check if the driver is looking down, straight or up. This condition means if the driver is looking down, maybe the person is typing a text message or adjusting the radio etc. for more than 2 seconds, the buzzer will turn on. This buzzer will remain on until the driver looks straight. This condition makes sure that the driver is looking straight and maintains the normal position. What this condition means if the driver is looking up for more than 2 seconds or maybe the driver is drinking water or a cold drink, the buzzer will turn on. The buzzer will only turn off when the driver gets back to its normal state. The circuit diagram and programming can be downloaded from my website. Check the link in the description. I have already uploaded this program and let's perform the initial testing and check if the circuit is working. As you can see it's working perfectly. Now I will replace these jumper wires with the longer wires so that I can easily match this sensor.
Now for the demonstration purposes, I will fix this sensor on the cape. This is just a prototype model which can be further improved. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.